Hey guys, Anthony, 4 Before Adventures. We're still setting up the vehicle for an adventure. I'm mean, actually, I'll set up a playlist. I think it'll be called um, 2022 Vehicle Setup. Um, in particular, it might be just a separate one for the electrical or it might be the whole lot, everything that we've put on this channel. Just remember there's other stuff on 4 Before Diesel and in and our Oz Prado crew Facebook group, the main one for the Prados. So as far as since the last video, okay, We've got corrugated split tubing, couldn't help myself, OCD problem, corrugated split tubing all the way up, it's actually pushed through to inside the vehicle. I left a little gap inside so you can uh, see it's a positive red wire. It runs with all the factory wiring down the bottom. You wouldn't even be able to, you know, if you look down there, you'll go, oh, there's, hang on, so there's two wires there, right? Uh, it's a bit hard to focus, right, because it's focusing up close here, hold it still. Right, see two wires? Oh, you know, which one's which? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't even really know what's what, right? So, comes all the way down with the factory wiring. You can see it in the clamp there. Corrugated split tubing all the way to there. You know, I'm not worried about the last bit. What's it going to rub on the battery? It's plastic. Anyway, um, it's going to be trimmed off a little bit anyway. I trimmed it pretty close because I ran it out estimated. Always overestimate a little bit, but we're going to have a fuse hanging around about here. So, we'll probably have a little bit to trim off or I'll find somewhere down there. I like to keep a bit of spare where possible. You never know when... For some, well, you're not going to have a bad connection here because uh, we're going to have the expert crimpers on the job crimping those terminal lugs, heat shrink, happy days. It's going to be beautiful like always. Um, but the next job I want to do because it involves getting into this corner again before we put the compressor in because we've got the compressor to go in next. That's not this video, but once I, I want to put the compressor in, and once the compressor goes in here, it's difficult to get to any of these holes now. Same as the other vehicle, I used the, this main grommet up here and I could have put extra wires in with it, but I wanted to put it in a different hole for a change, right? So if you look, I'll just focus this light around. We're going to look down once I get this light sitting in the right spot. Oh, I don't think it's going to work out, but anyway, down there, I'll tell you about what this extra wire is for. So I've just put this extra wire in, right? I'm going to try and swap hands and hold the camera with the other hand. Is this going to work out? Here we go. Try and hold that there. Got the shakes with my arm twisted inside out, back to front. But anyway, see this? No, hard to see, isn't it? That's where the water goes through. We talked about it before. The grommet is a bit loose. There's room for another way. You know, you sort of you can stick two in one hole, if you know what I mean. Have you ever done that before? Stick two in one hole? It's a bit of a tight fit. You've got to be careful you don't split it. But this is really good quality rubber, these, um, you know, Toyotas, Prados, whatever. What is it? P What's, what's the letters again for the EP dam or whatever it is? Anyway, yeah, right? So you can see, look, right? You know, it slips in and out just nicely, right? But there's just enough movement and it actually tightens up the hole, right? Nice and tight down there so you're not going to get any water leaking in there. So it's not too much. You don't want to put this big wire, this one from up here, in that hole down there because that'll, yeah, that'll be not good. It'll probably tear it open. But the one with the uh, water down there, perfect, right? So the deal is, it yeah, will swap back over again. So we've got about four metres of wire here, way more than what we need at the moment. But what we're going to do, we're going to run that wire, nice and neat once again, and it's come down along the bottom there. You could splice into this wire to get your power if you wanted to, but I just like to run a separate wire, right? For whatever reason, that wire, simple, that wire is what goes to the back. We'll worry about what's going to happen with the rest of that later. Okay, you can see it comes around here. You can see this end of it. Look, we'll quickly show the other end so you can see. Yep, it. couldn't help myself. You can see the corrugated split tubing as far as you could go. Little zip tie in the middle. That wire is not going anywhere. It's not rubbing on anything. It's just absolutely not going anywhere. Again, under the trim around, that's all that we said at the moment. Just hanging over the top there, waiting for me to finish this off. We've got that there. We've got the screws ready to position that and then start drilling some holes, whatever. But no hurry, slowly. We've got a lot of interruptions, jobs, other work going on, and this is just bits and pieces happening in between. So that's where the wire for that part of that job's at at this stage. And you can see all this is back together, right? Beautiful. Same at the front. Beautiful. Mickey Mouse. You wouldn't even know it's there. I may as well come and show you, right? So here we go. Have a quick look. Have a quick look. At, and you'll see the new wire somewhere if I find it. Right? So you can see that wire it comes around nice and neat like we said. Little bit of red there, so anybody that doesn't know the car knows, oh yeah, that'll be, yep, yeah. and then like anyone with half a brain will figure out what it is, but if we look, see there, right there, I haven't pulled it through yet, right, so that wire there, see right in the middle of the picture, I'll grab it now, here we go, I'll put that light down there, Jeez, it's hard to do this 
stuff for you guys out there. So we're going to grab that wire. I'm just going to gently pull it through a little bit. Now, if you ever have trouble putting a wire through a hole, something through a hole, it's too tight, you know, lube. In this case, Molly Coat Triple One, right? So a little bit of Molly Coat on there will help that slide through. I put a little bit at the start just to get the head through because it's always the first little part. You know, that little head at the start there. You know, I was having trouble getting that through, so a little bit of molly coat now, just gently. You can see it's coming in, right? We've got plenty there. Right, we're gonna bring through some more wire. What that's gonna do, that's just gonna hang around there. I'm gonna tuck it behind this trim for a little while. And then when we get our little USB power outlets, which we're gonna have one here, a twin USB, which is the Toyota sort of medium size. And then you've got your squares there. We might have some more there and some more over here because we want to be able to charge phones, iPads, constant power in the vehicle. So that's what that wire is all about. And the other thing it'll be used for is when we run our, the only other wires that are going to come through and they might even come through there as well or I haven't worked it out yet um, if there's room or it might come through with the other cable uh, is the two little wires, two very small wires with an AOB compressor, one to light up the switch and one to power the switch. I could probably just leave that outside going to the battery, but that would be untidy. So if I just bring it through the grommet, I'll just join it all up with that wire because that wire is going to have power because I just want constant power. Or I might go into the fuse box, which is around here somewhere anyway, somewhere there, there it is, right? And just uh, jump one of the fuses, you know, those little fuse attachment things, and that'll give us the power we need for when, when it's accessories on only. Um, but I don't think I mind having the power to the compressor all the time just means this switch it off you know switch it on switch it off the switch will be lit up uh, all the time that's all right might use a bit of power though anyway we'll think about that one that'll be later in another video just showing you what that wires for to bring some constant power through and just allowing a little bit extra of course we won't cut any of it until we know because that that is going to come around and be connected the same sort of route as this one it'll have a separate fuse so what you'll see here is only two fuses one for that main wire that runs to the back that if it ever shorts out which i can guarantee it's not going to happen in nothing's going to happen with it but if it does the fuse is going to blow and that needs a fuse just the same it's probably going to be a small fuse i don't know five or ten amp haven't worked it out yet and uh it, they'll both be sitting here on the battery ready for easy access you know there's only two wires one fuse is for the that one and one's for that one really simple reliable you can see where the two wires are some people might think that's untidy having that sitting there but you know what it's really reliable and really easy to change so that's our system that's what we use um, so we're just going to get this wire it's more about just getting it in position and being able to pull it either way so we'll just sit this bunch here down the side of the battery or somewhere around here and we'll uh, move on to the next I've just literally spent a few minutes and got it out of the way have a look at this how neat is this look at that I mean it looks like factory wiring mate, you know, other than that one going through the fire, which you know is in factory. Look at the one that comes out with the water. It's not going to rub on anything. I can put Corrugated Split Jeebing on it, but you know what? It's like in the air, it's with other wiring looms, a vacuum a washer pipe, down there into that plastic, you know, uh, clip there underneath with the rest. Another plastic clip. And at the moment I've just got it all, uh, so I've got it all wound up there waiting. Just waiting a bit spare you can see the end right there that'll eventually have another fuse and get connected but for now that's it going through the firewall until we get the compressor in place so now we can actually get the compressor in place so that while we've got this plastic cover this is something that's got to come off soon to run our wires we're getting waiting for our um, there's a new bracket coming from Kaon um, that also holds an SBI 12 because we're running an SBI 12 on this one is the plan we're going to see how that goes and report back to you about, you know, because everybody tells you you need a DC DC. Well, we're going to run it without one and just see what happens and how well it charges this battery. See if the alternator can charge instead of one battery, mysteriously charge two batteries and how well it'll charge two batteries. And then if need be, it'll be the bracket that we can add the DC. So you can either have either, either or both. Anyway, that'll be a prototype. I'll let you know about that once it arrives. That hopefully will be soon. Uh, but when this covers off, we'll run the wire across under here like we did over to this battery for the compressor. The main battery for the compressor ideally. Although, because we've got the SBI and the size cables we're going to be using with the SBI, we could probably just connect it to this one. But we'll go ahead and send it over there. That way it'll keep it more neat and tidy. You know, we just, uh, less connections over here, we'll share one over to this side. 
Uh, so this video, what else? Uh, I suppose before we finish up this video, because that's about it, it's just the other wire. And if it wasn't clear, the other wire, the one that runs, the smaller one that runs through with a washer wire right down there, it's basically to charge phones and iPads, USB points in the front of the vehicle, that's about it. You could also include um, a voltmeter if you like, because it's going to give you the voltage of this battery, so whatever you want for your own purpose, but um, I won't worry with that because I've got other things that will read that uh, data. That'll be other information, other videos. Um, so what I should say, I suppose, is because people are going, how come you only run a red wire? Somebody's got to be going, why is there only one wire? What about the other one? Okay, in case you missed it, and you know, a lot of people have got different opinions and whatever, but I want to show you. See here, this is the battery. This is the positive, you know, that's the red one. This is the negative. The earth, see the earth strap goes to the body. And there's a number of those over the vehicle and that makes the whole vehicle a negative the whole black negative is earth okay so all we need to do is when we want to connect this battery is connect a black wire from here to the body for example there'll be a hole right there right so short cable terminal lugs not too short we're not going to just stretch it across there we're going to bend it around and have it come back That'll get earth to the body there, and maybe another point, because there's some other earths down here, so we might get a bit crazy, and actually go for a double earth. So, because we do these crazy things, although we're running one wire, we might go crazy on the earth, or we might not, and we'll just see how things go. Sometimes when people have problems, you do need to scratch the paint off and use, you know, the correct bolts and all that sort of thing. But, you know, just there's another good place to go. And there's more around the side there, I don't know if you can see down around there, right? So you could sort of jump onto those as well. You could double it up. That's what I'm saying. The wiring loom is earthed off in many places. So um, that's what will happen there. And a similar situation at the back. The other end of the red wire, it'll go to the fuse splitter. And then that from the body, an earth or a number of earths, we might take earth from three places and join it into one to make sure we've got a really awesome earth. Just in case one had a bad connection, there's too much paint in the way or it came loose or all these things that could possibly happen, but not gonna happen anyway, but you double your reliability by having an extra one or triple it by having three, because hey, you got three, you've just got a really awesome earth, but I can guarantee you anywhere on the vehicle, you will find a good earth, and this steel that the vehicle's made from, it's a better conductor than a piece of wire. So anybody that tells you you've got to run two, they're uh, misinformed, maybe they're not automotive, you know, maybe they're used to working AC instead of DC or, I don't know, because you certainly, definitely, 100% only need to run one, and you certainly don't need one this big. We've just gone overkill. Anyway, guys, this video was more about showing you how to get through the firewall. You've got those couple of access points there. Um, and then, of course, there's, as I said, around right here, you can see middle of the picture, there's another one if you wanted to go this side. We've kept this side neat and tidy by not doing it. Why, why run things over to this side? Any wires in the engine bay when the battery is over here, and all the SBI and everything will be mounted down through there. You might see it if you look through the grill at the front here, but that's about the only place. And Anderson plugs, we'll probably have an Anderson plug off this battery so we can plug in the solar directly. And we may do the same on this battery as well. So if we wanted to, let's say for example, the alternator shagged out in five or 10 years time and we, you know, you can then plug in your solar panel, strap them to the roof, connect up to this battery. The sun's pumping your battery, the car keeps running so you can get back to base. There you go. Little bonus idea for Forby Adventures. If you like that, hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on. Make sure you're on both channels, 4 before Adventures, 4 before Diesel. We're trying to split the information, but it doesn't always work out perfect. So, you know, you could be missing out if you're on uh, one or the other. So both is recommended, and you know our Facebook groups and pages. These already. are the main Facebook groups and pages. Look, the groups is what you want to look at, right? If you've got a Prado, Oz Prado crew, Oz Hilux crew. If you haven't got a Prado Hilux, you haven't got a Toyota, these two groups here, same names as the channel. 4 before Diesel, 4 before Adventures. We might work on Toyotas, but if you haven't got a Toyota, it's probably even more important that you tune in and listen carefully, watch the videos, check out the playlists. Thanks for watching. Stand by for the next step. Subscribe, turn the bell on. See you guys.